Hey everybody, this is Leslie from GoToKitchens.com. We are back live. We are back live talking about inspiration, getting a little bit of inspiration. Um, so here's what we're talking about today. When opportunity knocks, don't be too busy to answer. That's what we're talking about today. Hey, Marcy, it's good to see you. So we're changing up the format a little bit of Go To Kitchen's regular broadcast. Um, our regular broadcast. Hey, B. Hey, Evan. Hey, everybody. It's good to see you coming in. We're gonna change up the format of our broadcast a little bit, where we have um, we have a cooking broadcast or health. Um, <laughs> that's awesome, Jen. I love it. Where we have a uh, <laughs> no, I don't know if you did or not, but um, we we have a cooking broadcast or health broadcast and normally at the end of that I would do an inspirational moment and a lot of you were asking me to separate the two so that you could watch the replays and that my scopes maybe wouldn't be quite as long as they normally are so we actually got away they were like hour-long scopes we actually got away with uh, a 30-minute scope today and actually made a smoothie so it went really fast so before we get started thank you so much thank you um, and before we get started let me introduce myself my name is Leslie I have a website go to kids Kitchens.com. I am a light bulb expert. What I mean by that, when I say thank you, when I say that I am a light bulb expert, that means that I help people have a light bulb moment before they get disease, before they get cancer, before they, they have a life changing, altering event. I help you have a light bulb moment so that you're living in the present, you're living in the now. And I do that with real whole foods. I do that in the kitchen with real whole foods. So, um, so that's my focus. That's what I like to focus on. I'm going to ask you guys one time, if you will, please write down here in the corner. If you will just tap that little Perry dude right down there and share out to your followers, I would be greatly, greatly appreciative of that. Uh, let's get this message out there so people can start living their lives a little bit different. You can share it on Twitter, which is awesome because when people see it, it's a live Twitter feed that they can watch right from Twitter. If you share out to your followers, thank you so much. That is so beneficial every time you guys share out every time you say my name every time you share my blog post all that stuff you're helping me help people change their lives so thank you so much you are my partners in crime <laughs> So, so we're going to do these inspirational scopes, uh, I hopefully once a day, but there will not be scheduled. So don't think at 3.30 or 3.25, I'm going to come on and do this every day. I will do it as I have time, but mostly as the inspiration hits me. So when I'm in a space, I'm in a mindset that I can, um, that I can come on here and share with you guys um, a little bit about what I'm thinking about myself. So what happens is, is I have a hashtag, and it's not in this scope, but I have a personal hashtag which is always light never darkness it is a hashtag that I've been using for a while now you can see it here there's there's me by the way if you want to follow me you can absolutely follow me at Leslie Nance on Facebook I would love that if you did it I typically don't respond to friends requests I'm getting pretty close to the 5,000 limit but you see the hashtag there always light never darkness if you type that into uh, Instagram or into Facebook you can see my inspirational posts on a daily basis and typically oh there we go we got somebody's coming up on Periscope typically typically what happens is I am talking to myself so these inspirational posts aren't directed at anybody or any one thing I'm actually making an affirmation to myself and so um, so it's a it's you're, you're kind of getting a, 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 a private moment thank you so much for sharing out Eric you're kind of getting my private thoughts and my private moments and I just sometimes I think um, they're divine and I like to share them back out and so it's not that I think that I'm so special or anything like that I just like to share them back and, and maybe provoke some thought and even give you a different type of light bulb so I have many light bulbs in my light bulb case <laughs> thank you thank you that's so sweet for you to say that I love that so um, so today's was when opportunity knocks don't be too busy to answer so the title of this scope is life in the fast lane I have to tell you thank you so much Marcy thank you so much so I have to tell you that I um, I have been living in the fast lane for the past six months uh, a year ago I had a concept in my mind that uh, some friends actually helped me develop and that is go to kitchens it, it stems from a cancer journey and uh, 
learning about health and learning how to um, thank you guys so much. Oh, you're sweetheart. Um, thank you so much for saying that. So, um, but I had a cancer journey and a breast cancer journey, and I really, I really grew and learned a lot about myself and a lot about the person that I wanted to become through that. So I actually love that I have cancer because I needed something to shake me to the core to get me out of my fairy tale life. Crazy, right? I'm not kidding. I had a fairy tale life. My husband and I were living a fairy tale. Thank you so much for sharing out. Had a fairy tale life. We were living the dream. We were traveling all the time. We had a great business. We still have a great business. We have a great business. We were um, we were happier, happier than we've ever been, either one of us, our entire lives. And boom, cancer hit me. And if it had never hit me, uh, if I'd never gotten cancer, we would have just continued down a path that was awesome. But there was something so much more awesome that we could do with the things and the gifts that we had been given. So we got out of our pattern and it took a while. And um, and my journey started, you know, I wanted to change my health. My body developed cancer for a reason and I wanted to find out what that reason was. This room is insane. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for filling this room up. I am just beaming today. <laughs> from all the love. It's just been a fantastic day. So, so fast forward three years later after cancer, um, Go To Kitchens is born, um, almost to the date that um, I actually made a decision to not have chemo and to not have the evasive surgery and all the meds and all that. And so, um, and you can read about this story on my website, gotokitchens.com. If you're interested, you can read my journey there. Just uh, click on Meet the Hands. Um, and all social media, I go to kitchens as well. So fast forward again, uh, Go To Kitchens gets rolling and that was in June of last year go to kitchens became a you know like a business although we don't sell a thing but it's a business um, <laughs> no I didn't see it no I did not see it at all um, <laughs> No, did not see the latest news. So, um, so go to kitchens became a business, and so I don't want to get too far off track here, though. But uh, and and I, my life got really busy really fast. I started working these long days, and I'm still working these really long days. And people were contacting me, telling me I was changing their lives, and it just keeps like snowballing into this amazing stuff. And sometimes. Sometimes you get to moving so quickly and you're so caught up in your success that you don't realize when opportunity is knocking at your door. And sometimes that happens and you're too busy to answer the door. You think, I don't have time for this. I don't have time to do that. I don't have, there's no way that I have time to do that. And I want to shake you a little bit and encourage you as well um, to, to get out of that mindset and to look at all opportunities. Uh, that come your way. Don't automatically say, I don't have time for that, or I don't have the money for that, or uh, my husband would never let me do that, or my wife would never let me do that. That is never going to fly at my job. That is never going to be something that I could actually do. That is a negative mindset, and that mindset is never going to get you anywhere. Or I'm just so busy that I, I couldn't possibly add another thing to my life. Those mindsets are not going to get you anywhere anytime fast and so don't be too busy when opportunity knocks on your door be there be ready <laughs> that's right Shake that. that's right dad that's my dad everybody by the way Gary McGaw is my dad it could be my mom too but um, but yeah that's exactly right shake that tree and see what falls out so that's exactly right <laughs> I know that was awesome 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 um, be a yes person. I know I hear a lot of people say, you know, I had to become a no person. Why did you have to become a no person? Why'd you have to do that? Um, because I mean, I know that there's a lot, there's a lot going on in everybody's life. Everybody's busy. There's not a single one of you that if I asked you, you know, are you busy that you wouldn't go? Yeah, I'm kind of busy, but <laughs> But just don't let those opportunities pass you by because of that excuse. In fact, don't let any opportunities pass you by. And maybe the opportunity is not great for you. Maybe it is not a good a good thing for you. But you, ha if you never explore it, you'll never know. So I'm going to share a story with you guys. I have, I know, right? There's, I know, and it's an excuse. We kind of use it as an excuse. I agree. I share a story with you guys. I'm going to take a sip. I've been talking a lot the last couple of days and my throat is, my voice is kind of raspy, so I apologize. Look at that beautiful mug. Look at that. 
All you need is love. Love it, love it, love it. Hi, welcome in. Thanks for being here. If you guys aren't following me, please follow me. I do two scopes. I have a, uh, a food scope that is focused on real whole foods that is fun and high energy. We just started today with our inspirational scopes. Thank you so much for putting that out there, our inspirational scopes. And anytime you see hashtag light bulb, then we're talking about fitness. I'm sorry, we're talk we don't talk about fitness very much. We are talking about real foods or we're talking about wellness or and and those scopes are a blast. Please catch the replays. Um, and when we put in hashtag inspiration, those are inspiration scopes. And that's new starting today. So uh, try to train myself and you guys to recognize which is which. So, um, so yes. So I'm going to share a quick story with you guys. And this happened to me this weekend. And this was the perfect time to... Um, to use this particular thing. And this morning, by the way, uh, the wonderful, beautiful Kim Garst did a scope. If you guys want to uh, catch the replay, she did a scope about me, which freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> and it was a wonderful opportunity for me. And I am just so humbled and I feel so much gratitude. I feel so much gratitude for what happened. But she and I had a moment in the elevator and don't let, don't go there. Um, uh, but we had a moment, that was my husband that just walked by. Uh, we had a moment in the elevator that both knocked us both off of our feet. I mean, literally, and it wasn't an earthquake in San Francisco. <laughs> it, both, it both knocked us off our feet. And it was so beautiful and so amazing. And um, we were in an elevator together and um, I saw her, of course, she doesn't know me from the man in the moon. She does now, but she didn't then. And I said, uh, I said, hi, she did the keynote for the summit, Periscope Summit, which is the Periscope Summit is where all, uh, anybody's welcome, but it's where the broadcasters and people and fans and everybody get together um, at a conference. And it was amazing and I loved it. And I met some amazing people, but this was my highlight moment. And so we're, I get, I had, I had left the conference because I needed to go back to my room and just freshen up a little bit. And then I, and then I was coming back down. I was actually late to a seminar that I wanted to see. So I was kind of in a hurry and I get in the elevator and Kim Garst is in the elevator. And if you don't know her, it's Kim, uh, Kim Garst.com. She broadcasts here under Kim Garst. She's a business expert. Uh, I watch her scopes for business inspiration all the time. Cause quite frankly, I don't like the business end of business. And so Anyway, so she's in the elevator. I'm like, oh my gosh, I loved your keynote. It was so point on. I learned so much. Thank you so much. And she's like, oh, you know, it's same, you know, what, whatever you would do when you introduce yourself to somebody. She did. She did. She wrote the first guide to Periscope. And so, um, so she was like, I, you know, what do you, what do you scope about? And I said, I'm a light bulb expert. It just flew out of my mouth. I've never said this before in my life. I said, I'm a light bulb expert. And she just looked at me like, she had the craziest look on her face. I, she wishes she had a camera. I wish I had a camera. I was like, what? What is, she was like, what does that mean? <laughs> what, do you, are you an expert on light bulbs? <laughs> and I said, no, I, I, uh, I'm a three year cancer survivor. And after cancer, I had a light bulb moment. And so what I'm doing is helping people not have, uh, not have to have cancer to have a life a light bulb moment in their life and for the light to go off so that they take care of themselves and start healing themselves. And she just like looked at me like I had said like the best thing ever. And it was, it was so much fun. And we were both like beaming. She actually missed her floor. We were on the elevator. She went all the way down to the lobby with me and she was supposed to stop at the second floor. She's like, Oh my God, I totally missed my floor. And she had to go back and get back on the elevator. And it was, it was amazing. And she was touched by it. I was touched by her reaction. I scoped about it later that afternoon. And then she got home and she, I know it was so genuine and she is amazingly sweet. And just so, just like you see on her scopes, that's just how she is. She's so approachable and so amazing. And, um, and so I, we didn't talk the rest of the summit and I had tweeted her and said, Hey, I'm the light bulb girl. I'd love to connect, you know, whatever. And so, uh, so yeah, so she actually, <laughs> she actually did a scope this morning and it, the, the title of the scope was how to, you know, I, I can't even remember something about one liners for your business. And she used that example exclusively. And then she went on to say that I was her highlight moment of the entire, not her keynote speech, not her tour Twitter, not anything to Twitter headquarters, not that none of those things were her highlight, that I was her highlight moment. And you can re you can, I'm not lying. You can watch the replay of her scope. And in fact, you should, and go share it out with everybody that you know, cause it was amazing. And 
this morning I'm watching, I was asleep because I was so tired when I got home. I was asleep. Uh, thank you. How to create the perfect one-liner to promote your business. And as soon as I saw the title, I knew that she was talking about me. I knew it was about me, which was even mo better. And so, but I was sleeping this morning while she was scoping and I'm so mad I wasn't there live. I was so like frustrated, but I had to sleep. I was exhausted and I needed to sleep because you guys know how important sleep is. And so she, <laughs> but she did this whole scope about this in a whole teach. And I was just so honored. I cried when I watched it. I was like, oh my, I was so humble that it made me cry. And it's just, I mean, it's just these moments like this. And so she was not too busy. I know it is totally. She was not too busy to seize an opportunity. And I was not too busy to seize an opportunity. We both saw an opportunity and we both took it. So, and it's it's been amazing for me and hopefully at some point I can do something amazing for her as well. And I owe her one like big time. And so I one day I hope I can I can return that favor. So, so there you go. That's my story. Um and that's my highlight of Periscope Summit. But um you know, when opportunity knocks do not be too busy to answer so that is super super important sometimes it only knocks once sometimes it knocks a couple times but I know Jen it was just a beautiful story so that's my inspiration for today I'm gonna take another drink here that's my inspiration for today does anybody want to share a moment of inspiration as well I'm gonna open it up to you guys anybody want to type in your favorite quote or your favorite inspiration um, I'd love to see them that would be awesome while you're doing that, if you're not following me, please follow me. Uh, you can slide up, slide down. I don't know which device does what. You can just tap on the little guy, hit follow. I would absolutely love it if you followed me. I like to make real connections with people. Um, you can find me at go2kitchens.com, G-O, the number two, kitchens.com. Anybody want to type in their favorite quote or inspiration or um, something amazing? Attitude of gratitude. That is beautiful, Jen. I really like that. I like that. So simple too, right? I mean, that's such a simple, thank you, Evan. That's such a simple concept. That's such a simple concept. So to further the inspirational thoughts, if you're having trouble settling down and finding your inspirational moments, Evan can help you with that. Summer's Wellness, Evan at Summer's Wellness. If you're not following him, please follow him. He is an essential oils expert and he's amazing. I use essential oils every day and Evan has helped me pick the right ones. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Attitude of gratitude. I love that. Who else has one that you want to type in? Anybody else? That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You never know who you're inspiring, even when you don't know it. Uh, unfollow. Say yes is my inspiration. So I'm, oh, I missed that. Man, I missed that last part. There was several comments there. Can you type it again? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, um, so it's been an amazing day and it just keeps getting better, um, better and better and better, better and better and better. And it's a crazy week. Um, but I'm looking forward to this coming weekend because we're going to take a couple days off and just relax a little bit and just be. Um, so that'll be good. I'll be looking forward to that. Maybe go to the mountains and spend some time in the mountains because it's absolutely gorgeous up there right now. The mountains are covered in snow and they're gorgeous. For those of you that don't know, I'm in Fort Collins, Colorado, and it is beautiful. Thank you so much, Jen. I appreciate that. I really do try to move my message forward and help as many people as possible on so many levels. Um, I was helping some people with business this weekend. Uh, I was helping people with some emotional issues this weekend. I was like, holy cow. I mean, I kind of run the scope here. <laughs> no, no pun intended. Run the gamut here. And it is, it, and it all stems, it all stems from a little tiny tumor. This little bitty thing that could have destroyed my life. And I thought was, it was about the size of the end of my pinky. This little bitty cancer tumor that I had um, changed everything. And it's, I'm so grateful. I'm just so grateful. Hi, Sue. It's good to see you. I don't think I've ever met you before. I see your title. I mean, your little profile picture says gypsy in it. Are you a gypsy? <laughs> I know. It is so important, Lori. It is so important. And I have to tell you, as an entrepreneur, it's very overlooked. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for being here. I hope you follow me. 
Um, but yeah, it's so important. Self-care is so important. I mean, we overlook that, especially again, if you, thank you. If you are an entrepreneur, especially if you're a newbie like me, um, it consumes a lot of time. I don't have any staff. Everything that you see that comes from go to kitchens comes from me, except I have a couple of ambassadors that work on my Facebook page that help me with recipes. Um, and I have Evan, uh, summer's wellness here that helps me, um, that helps me with, uh, just on contract. So when calamity strikes and it will, how you handle dictates the outcome. This is my dad, everybody. If you want to know where I get my hashtag from, always light, never darkness. I say that my mom and dad were my mentors for always light, never darkness. They, they taught me to live in the light. They taught me to seek the light. I can tell you when I had cancer, when I was diagnosed with cancer, I had a hard time finding my light. Um, I did not I didn't want to, I didn't want to seek the light. I, I really thought I was dying. And so I just wanted to live in the darkness and I did for about two months. And then I pulled my head out of my butt and realized that I wasn't dying and that I could beat this. And not only could I beat it, I could turn it into something amazing if I would let it happen that way. And so, but my dad is absolutely right. When calamity strikes, how you, how you deal with it, it determines the outcome. And so, absolutely, absolutely. I see this over and over again, people having terrible things happen to them and making an amazing lifestyle out of it. So I know it's so true, it's so true. Anybody else have anything you wanna type in there? I love, I love, love, love hearing your thoughts. This will be, I mean, if you wanna come up with a good one for tomorrow, this will be something that we do. You guys type in your favorite. Maybe it's just something that you've seen today. Maybe it's your mantra, uh, what you live by. Um, I would love to hear it, so. Winners are losers who got up and have have it just one more try. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah, I mean, that's right. If you if you've lost and you get up and you dust yourself off, you know what's the saying? Um, I'm gonna put on my I'm gonna put on my big girl panties. <laughs> I got you there. Um, I'm gonna put on my get big girl panties. That said a lot. I'm gonna have to put on my big girl panties and go do something. You know, I changed that like a couple of weeks ago, and I decided that I was gonna say rock star panties. I'm gonna put on my rock star panties and go do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Lead with love, share your passion, let God order the steps. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I love that. I love that. <laughs> right? I know. I don't I don't need big girl panties. I want rock big girl panties seem like granny panties to me. I want rock star panties. <laughs> That is beautiful. That is very, very good. I love that. <laughs> Hello. Hi. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Wheelchairman, I don't know your name, I don't think. I I know. I said panties. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's okay to have a little fun, even when you're talking about Dennis. Nice to meet you, Dennis. I will try to remember. Um, I've seen you on here a couple times. I will try to remember your name, but I really stink at it. It's something I'm working on. But, uh, but I'll try to remember your name. Dennis, 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 Dennis. Uh, live each day if it's your last. As if it's your last, I think is what you mean. Absolutely. Live each day as if it's your last. It is a great way to live. Live without regrets. But you're not Dennis the Menace. Okay, well, that's good to know. <laughs> Thanks for being here. If you're just joining us, I'm having people share their favorite inspirational quote or um, something maybe that you read today or something that you heard this past week or anything like that. Um, mine today was um, when opportunity knocks, don't be too busy to answer. That <laughs> was mine. So anybody else have any that you want to throw out there? I'm going to just stay just a few more minutes and see if in case you're typing <laughs> and see what happens there. So... Um, <laughs> Isn't that right? I know, I know. You do have one? Share it with us, Dennis. Share it with us. Share it with us. I'd love to hear it. So, um, 
so yeah, so I'm gonna my my regular broadcast for those of you that may have never been here with me. My regular broadcast. This is an unscheduled broadcast, and my inspirational broadcasts are unscheduled. My uh, regular broadcasts are at noon Mountain Time, so 11 Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. We talk about health and wellness. We cook in the kitchen. We cook with real foods. We're really focused on what you can eat and not on what you can't eat. So we don't talk a lot about don't eat this, don't eat that. This is bad. This is gonna kill you. We don't we don't do that. What we do here at Go To Kitchens is we talk about what you can eat because there are so many more foods that you can eat than than foods that you can't eat. And so that's what I teach. Today is a brand new day. My past does not define me. My future is mine to create. Is that your mantra? That is beautiful. That just kind of gave me chills a little bit. I just got like chills. That's beautiful. I love that. I love that. That is gorgeous. Good on you. Good on you, Dennis. Beautiful. Great way to live. Great way to live. Fantastic. You guys are rock stars. Rock star inspirational people. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I would put it on my mirror in my bathroom and like say it every time I went in there <laughs> so I could be reminded. So, you know, because we're, we're creatures of habit. We need reminders. I mean, we need to be reminded when when we are uh, when we need inspiration. I was joking with my husband today. Anytime I get down in the mully grubs and I start freaking out about business, I love it. That's Perfect. Teaching brain positive thinking is so important. I agree, B. That is absolutely a thousand percent true. You kind of have to train your brain um, because we're inundated with the negativity. Think about it. We're inundated with the negativity. So you have to train your brain to have good positive thoughts and it makes all the difference in the world. Always seeking the light, never seeking the darkness. My personal mantra, my personal mantra is uh, please let me be light into dark spaces and never darkness into light spaces. That is my personal mantra. I know it's beautiful, right? Yeah. And it isn't the size of the dog on the flight who wins. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Oh, fight, not flight, sorry. It's the size of the fight in the dog. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. That chihuahua thing. Sorry, I said flight, not fight. I apologize. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Dennis. Thank you so much. They were hardening it up earlier. We had quite a big room, so thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're getting on a... We're getting closer to two million, I mean, to a million hearts very quickly, and that's really exciting. I'm super excited about that. I had somebody this weekend say, you only have 1,300 followers and you have almost a million hearts? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, wait a second. I just got a text from a friend that said that Glenn Fry is dead, and I did the whole life in the fast lane thing. I did not mean that. That's cri wow. That's freaky. I just had a text pop up on my phone and say that. I'm a little bit freaked out right now. Why did I think that? Like, I just it just popped up. I was thinking about how fast paced my life was. I was actually singing the song "Life in the Fast Lane." I know. Wow, we're losing a lot of people. We're losing a lot of people. Too many people to cancer right now. It's I'm so sad about how many people we're lo losing to cancer right now. It's very, it's chilling actually, it's chilling. So that's nuts. I know, right? I agree, I agree. Hmm, creepy. Uh, I mean, maybe not, maybe I was, I was supposed to. Oh, I just got a low battery. I just got a low battery. I need to probably get off here, so. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go check out that story and say a prayer for his family because it's heart-wrenching when anybody dies. And so I'm gonna go say a quick prayer for his family and pray for peace and love and joy to surround them uh, in his life. So at 67, that is too young. That is too young. We're losing so many people in their 60s and early 70s and that's just too young. And a lot of them to cancer, which is just sad, it's sad. Too soon, I agree, I agree. So, all right, you guys, be inspired today. Always live in the light, never live in the darkness. It's so much more fun in the light. It's so much more fun in the light than it is in the darkness. So you guys have an amazing afternoon. I will be back here tomorrow at noon Mountain Time. That's 11 uh, Pacific and 2 p.m. Eastern. And uh, crazy, wow. Um, yeah, that's pretty, yeah.
Don't be too busy when opportunity knocks. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, all right. Love you guys.